juvenile center that's facing these 40 years of, of facing certification. And I'm saying, God, y'all did that? Well, shit, you ain't going to snitch. So as I'm talking to him, I'm saying, well, who, who, who uh, where are you from? Was you raised by this, raised by that? So once I get past that, now I want to tap into the spirit of this kid. Mm -hmm. Who is your favorite rapper? Right. So when he tell me who his favorite rapper is, I, it's going to tell me a little something about this little mm -hmm. His mindset. His mindset, the spirit that he walking with, the mm -hmm. aura, the mm -hmm. energy. Yeah. So I'm going to go listen to the lyrics of this kid's favorite rapper and come back the next day and say, God, what you like him for? All he talk about is killing. Yeah. No wonder. Yeah. And then go so so just like home with this fifteen year old kid who I was telling y'all got killed. He got he got accused of committing a robbery that that he that he didn't commit. And so we went we fought hard to get him out of the juvenile. So this right before he got killed, he could draw real good. Mm -hmm. Uh, when I went to visit him in his house, uh. I got to the to the door. They didn't have a they didn't have a doorknob. It was a pair of panties in the hole to cover up the hole where the doorknob would be. Right. To pull the door. To pull the door. Damn. So that touched my heart. Like God, man, I see why they little got taken and robbed. And he a big little, but he a good kid with a good spirit. Mm -hmm. He just come from these conditions. So so. So what I started realizing, homie, that, that no child is born bad, right? All behavior is learned. Mm -hmm. Children mimic what they see and, and repeat what they hear. Yep. So it's our environment, it's our culture that shaped these little niggas. Mm -hmm. So when I started looking at the, the... It's the first time I heard him actually say something good. Now, this is the Charleston White that we be looking for. I ain't going to hold you. The, the elements in, in, in the conditions of the environment, looking at the culture, the, the, the rap music, the rap lyrics, uh, the rap persona, the rap image, uh, uh, and then just what our culture uplift. This is what's driving us this way. So that's the opposition. So looking at all this, when I come online, uh, it's to, it's to attack this sh Let's destroy this sh So you <laughs> shoot up the motherfucking neighborhood when the white man gets you. So because this is what you're seeing. You just shot up a 93-year-old woman house last night, and it was the wrong house. Mm -hmm. But we over here patching the gun holes up with, with the police department, and, but they black police officers. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. and so now how can you say f the police when it's me and these black police officers pitching in our own money to get this black woman house repaired from these 90, yeah, these bullets you shot up through her. Facts. So yeah. it's easy to go against street and join in with the police, homie. So that that was my outlet when I came when I came to the internet uh, because I was starting the the conditions. It's just like the black woman feel like she hate the black man. She just hate the actions of the black man, the ways of the black man. Mm -hmm. She really don't hate the black man. But start to hate black people because of the condition that we create for one another. It's mm -hmm. easy for the boule or the bourgeois or the uppity Negro to hate the cause causing these conditions. But you don't want to hate nobody. Yeah. But you can't express that. So coming to the internet and say, man, I hate you. But I'm just saying this, but in my heart, secretly, I'm praying to him, but God, don't let my heart be hardened toward my own people. Because mm -hmm. nigga don't want to hate his own people, but man, f At what point did you feel comfor comfortable enough to show the ignorance of our culture to get, was, your, to, to get your point first, across? Homie. I know you had to because you like, yeah. wait a minute now. I, well, yeah. uh, I, I didn't, I, I didn't want to I didn't want to lose my white support. Mm. I'm going to be real. Now, you know what they're going to say. They're they, 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 they going to sell out. I, yeah, yeah, want some sell out. Just like most people. You know, it's a lot of shit you don't post because you don't want to lose your job. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true. true. That's a lot of shit too. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. Yeah. But, but no, nah, homie. Man, he, man, white people don't open doors for me. Right. Homie, I was a pre-law student at Texas Wesleyan University. Mm. Training the United States Department of Homeland 
I'm leading human trafficking divisions only for me to come back online five, seven years later. How to, I white ain't never read nobody. You think they gonna let me lead these trainings? And this shit is documented. Yeah, yeah. This shit is documented, homie. I'm my org, my youth organization uh, at the time was highly recommended to all 254 counties throughout the state of Texas by the Texas Juvenile Justice Department. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm speaking at every major youth facility, homie. Uh, I, I went so crazy online. Uh, the organizations out of Washington D.C., homie, uh, they they literally met with me, man. Asked me, man, please, because we got, man, we gained NFL support, uh, homie. I was, I was I was I was a poster child. Yeah. Uh but I'm not reaching my people. Mm -hmm. I'm everything they I'm everything white people wanted me to be, homie. I was a little Dr. King, my I didn't cuss. Uh wear gold chain. Mm -hmm. I still I always had gold teeth, you know, cause that's a southern thing. Yeah, I fact. wouldn't smoke weed on camera. Yeah. I, I didn't use the word mm -hmm. So if you if you follow me or, or knew anything about me from uh two thousand what, 2009, 2010 to, I ain't started going radical to, to the police shootings, to Tamir Wright shooting, uh, Bill Cosby's arrest. Mm -hmm. But before then, I wasn't no online. That's why you saw me in a bow tie. Uh, I, was, I was very polished. Uh, but I, 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 I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I don't know if I could reach people. But I wasn't reaching people. What was your What was the first video you know, that people. you remember? That that okay, I'm on to something. Uh, when 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 I threatened to call the police on it, <laughs> I, I drove remember to that? the police station. It mm -hmm. was a gang member, uh, a full trade gangster crib, Harvest Street crib, mm -hmm. uh, online, uh, called me a sellout because I was speaking against. I think it was either George Floyd or one of them, mm -hmm. and bringing a tough guy, but trying to talk community talk. Mm -hmm. Oh. You a sellout, uh, and he went gang banging on me. So uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I threatened to uh, call the police on him, and you know, so it was community activists, uh, 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 snitches on 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 Harvest Street Crips. So that went. That's when World Star would be. So oh, it went okay. viral on World Star. So, okay. so that's that that that's what really put push me into the limelight. Okay, let's get into this, man. I gotta <laughs> ask you, man, what's going on? between you and Woody. Y'all was met up, y'all was cool at one point. Where did the, the disconnect come in that between you uh, and Woody? It, it was never a connection nor a disconnect. Uh, everything is for the internet. Yeah. Yeah, everything is for entertainment and content. Mm. Mm. Yeah, everything. See, this where people get everything confused and mixed up. Uh, just because two people meet, meet each other and get along, they ain't friends. True. Fr friendship, you have to do a, a bond is what make you a friend. Mm -hmm. What you go through with each other, what you do with each other, uh, it, it has to be a bond. That's why men and turn on each other. Right. That's why so right. many tell on each other, kill each other, uh, do things to one another because they all run together in a group. They just like each other, but they really don't have a friendship based on a bond. Mm -hmm. So, so now, nah, man, uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I was very fond of Woody. Uh, and, and 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 we got a great great chemistry online, but yeah, but offline really we do. ain't the kind of that can run parallel in life together. So it wasn't it wasn't a, it wasn't a, it wasn't a business beef, right? Nah, hell nah, it ain't no business beef. Cause I mean, yeah, I, it ain't it, yeah. it ain't it ain't no beef. Uh, it's just I can't f with a n like you. Uh, when the cameras come on, I play. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nah, man, I ain't who I am and what I am with a cameras come on uh uh it's people who work with each other that don't like each other can't stand each other but boy they talk to each other when they see each other at work facts by business uh just a little time i done been with woody homie uh in, in the bookings i done made i done, I done made off a hundred thousand dollars just me off me and him being on screen together yeah uh but it's only so much you can do together before uh, uh, it's only so much you can do together if y'all ain't on the same page before you diminish the value of what y'all do together. True. Mm -hmm. It started looking like it got it got to be on the same page. Yeah. Uh, that's why biblically the Bible say you and your bro got to be equally yoked. You and your partner got to be yoked. 
uh you know you see what i'm saying so mm -hmm. uh he got a point bro so 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 he and i done something together that they caught the attention of some networks mm -hmm. uh paramount uh really some, some some major networks i might not even say their name but but some major networks uh and and so uh they reached out to to one of the platforms who who who, who we've been dealing with and said hey we got some some good money over we here. We got yeah. some good money in the bag for some, for, for, for some, for some, for some so we got some creative writers over here to see you two guys together and hey, yeah. got yeah. But this one guy is kind of running his value into the ground. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Uh, I probably have done a 20 versus one probably once every six, seven, eight months. So I've done one, my first one I've done uh, with the fan bus. Okay. So I think I've done two with the fan bus. Uh, I've done I've done two with the no Lamar, uh, and I've done two with with Ryan with the sauce. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but that's over a, probably a two year time frame. Yeah. Uh, he done probably done twenty in a month's time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and so it's oversaturated. Yeah. So the network saying, hey, you guys got great chemistry, mm -hmm. but uh, let's see if this one can kind of pull back. Let us meet together uh go over this uh i say cool for whatever reason i don't know if they can communicate with him and his team properly cool so they say man you seem like you got a good relationship with him cool uh i said man let me talk to him uh so when i hit him up yeah so he he sounds he seems sound and intelligent yeah man let's make it happen yeah. uh and, and when it was time to make it happen it uh, went went left yeah 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 um, no nah, so uh at, at that point uh man ain't, ain't ain't no more for us to do i feel you yeah, yeah 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 let's 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 let, let me get your opinion on some other stuff man how you been seeing what's been going on with carter being offset lately man oh uh, yeah yeah i've been seeing bits and pieces of it what what do you think about this situation allegedly uh, carter uh, b had hmm. sex with somebody while she was pregnant with this man child you know what I'm saying? Offset, been cheating on her for years. You know what I'm saying? What you think about that whole situation? Uh, nothing. Uh, you stay out of this situation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everybody supposed to mind their business when they come in. Yeah, because because while we all come in, they were just seen together at a basketball game or something, looking happy together. Right. Oh uh, man, yeah, that's that's dick. That's that's three babies, man. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Uh, and then all of us in a situation where, uh, you know, I can't chime. I can't chime in on it. You know, I, I got my own. Situation. He in the doghouse yeah, yeah, right so now. I've been stay out in people's situation. I got my own. I feel. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, but uh, man, what a woman do with a. I ain't supposed to be in the man business. Man ain't supposed to be in that business. And what a man do with his he ain't supposed to be involved with that. Especially if he know what he been doing with his mm -hmm. If he know what he been doing with his man don't look over there at a Hold on now, let me ask you a question. So you trying to tell me. You if you been out cheating, don't worry about her cheating. No, you been cheating. Be a man. Uh -huh. You wouldn't feel no type of way I'm not, if a woman were carrying your baby nope. and fucking another. Nope. Because I know I'm out why she pregnant what's the difference what's the difference because because why you out and why you let's let, let's just be real fella yeah. why you out and the why your woman pregnant right at some point you come back and your woman don't you of course yeah every spirit that whole got you just imparted and departed into your woman that's mm -hmm. a fact every demon every every wild thought that's every, how people be catching trauma, stuff you go back and take that and lay that with your woman so what's the difference and your baby too now mm. because because sex is a spiritual thing you transfer spirits so y'all lay down and exchange spirits so her molester spirit the yeah. abuses all those spirits that got you go take it home to your woman and leave it with her with your baby so now while your baby trying to develop and nurture into that womb you don't put these spirits in this baby so now these these spirits is attached to this baby waiting for this baby to be born while you try to change your life and now this baby got to battle these spirits that you done left in the womb because the womb is sacred especially when the baby in it so you not withstanding yourself from other women while she pregnant so why are you tripping by what she's doing? You don't think a woman, okay, you talk about- I don't, yeah. I don't try to think what a woman is supposed to be doing. I want to okay. better myself as a man. I can't argue with Right, you. now listen, now, now you, you talk about all these spirits. I'm a, I'm a low down, dirty, rotten 
my, I can't I can't focus on a woman what a woman should be doing because I'm a dirty yeah, man. That's a fact. I ain't right. a righteous man. I ain't a righteous man to try to speak and say how good a woman or what a woman should be. I'm not a righteous man. I'm just as rotten as that. Mm. It's true. I'm just as rotten as that. So when my baby mama was pregnant, I was plenty hard and coming back my n laying and putting this in her. But if she too, while you out, that shows her character and she ain't as pure. No, no, it don't, homie. Because, don't? Be, because for the most part, she wasn't fucking first. You were. The woman said, you've been doing this to me. But do it make it right for her? To yeah, it make too. it right. Two wrongs make it right sometimes. Mm. Because it hurt that man <laughs> way more than the, the woman. The woman. Yeah, I think two wrongs make it right sometimes. Man, let me know down below in the comment section, though. It hurts, homie. Yeah. And she was built to take pain. But when you find out she doing it, boy, soul be crushed. Yeah. And you kind of straighten up a little better, too. Uh, I'm going to uh, tell uh, every uh, this. You can't out a woman, my nigga. Nope. That's a you fact. You think you finna try to out her? You see how you want to commit suicide. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, real shit. Man, let, her, you, man, you let, her, go, let her go fuck your handsome partner. I told thee. <laughs> let her go fuck your handsome partner. You and this been fucking her together since him. high school she'll break your heart I told him, you bro. can't out man. man you better sit down somewhere you and let her yeah yeah you be ready to keep you already know she you already know she'll fuck while she pregnant mm -hmm. you already know this and she know what kind of you is this is why y'all with each other <laughs> See, that, 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 don't, that don't that don't understand why offset and cardi doing because they they both know who they are man they both didn't hurt each other though this would hurt make you do to each other right this would hurt make you do to each other she done i she done many been fucking her ops and everything she, so she got to get her lick back and yeah. get what they get they lick boy yeah, man, so. they don't, man i hope my whole damn woman don't ever let me know she done done it <laughs> i want to play like she ain't done it yeah yeah yeah, no, nah, nigga. And I don't want to drive my bra to that point where she do that. Mm. You know how you know how low down you gotta be yeah. to drive your woman to that point. That ain't on the bra, my nigga. Because your woman put out what you put in her. So 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 if it's fair play, would you take her back? Hell yeah, I take her back. <laughs> Hell yeah, nigga. Shit. I'm a real man. You think I'm gonna let nigga I'm you think I'm gonna let dick and break up I love? When I've been out here playing chicken, you ain't a real man then. Uh -huh. You can dish it, but you can't take it. <laughs> what kind He's of man is facts, you? Though. You the type of nigga <clears throat> want to punch, but don't want to take a punch? Why you punch? Yeah. <laughs> I flew a Mayweather, nigga. Man, he lost a tooth. He, look, he, he lost a tooth too, then. He, he, he lost a tooth. Say, man, listen. He lost listen, a tooth, my nigga. Didn't. You can't, yeah. man. Don't dish it. Don't dish it then. If you can't take it or you can't, man, but here's the thing about your woman. Right. She try to take as much as she can for she, you drive her to this point. Yeah. Most of us ain't just picking no fucked up hole. Some do. But yeah. for the most part, homie, we push them to the element of, 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 of that part of their nature. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where they want to tap into their yeah. Because they think it makes them even. They yeah. think it empowers them. And yeah. it don't. Yeah. It, it give them some leverage. It give they motherfucking meds because now you get to see what it feel like. And I don't never want to see what it feel like. I agree with you, man. Shit, man. Keep playing like you ain't done it to me. Yeah. You let me be the rotten motherfucker. Both of us can't be rotten. <laughs> Shit, now. Not with babies. True. With babies. And we both going to be rotten. And we just had one. So one of them was born into a healthy environment. Right. Another one probably was born into an active environment where we both were busy doing work, and we go bring this baby into this environment, mm -hmm. a hateful environment, where we getting back at one another. Shit, man, come on now. I agree with you, man. I agree with you. It's, Somebody got to think. I want to yeah. get your opinion, man, on this because you you had some good. <laughs> I felt like you was saying what people want to say, but they're scared to say about the situation. Diddy situation being arrested, the stuff that's coming out about him, man. What do you think about that whole situation? I didn't got mad. I didn't huh? got mad. I didn't got mad in the motherfucker. Why, man? Oh, uh, man, they man, man, they bullshit. What you mean? Oh, they bullshit, homie. Oh, uh, how can they go back, man? Murder. 
it, it's the only thing that really has no statute of limitation. Right. Man, we're in 2024. Man, they fucking with this nigga about some shit in 2008, man. I, I, when the time, back in them times, you could fly a whole across the state, nigga, and give some money for some pussy. That's how you dated. Yeah. How you gonna say I'm wrong? I got 19 hoes coming in, nigga. And nigga, I'm getting them all seven hundred dollar piece, but they fucking nigga. That was the time and the era. Yeah. How you weenie motherfucker go come along now and say that's sex trafficking? Cause they done retweet some laws and shit. Man, that was fun partying back then <laughs> and, and for our compensation. Yeah. Yeah. Homie, they wrong in the motherfucker. Uh, man, it's only now uh, that I heard some sick shit about him today. Today. Today, I did too. I'll buy, and I, I think yeah. they lying. I told them. Yeah, that. I they swear to God, okay. they lying. Man, that boy ain't put that dick off no nine year old little boy from nah, Houston. Man, I don't think and they, they just now saying something. Yeah, yeah. They, they just now saying something. Mm -hmm. They lying. Yeah. They ain't letting. They ain't let him done that. He been kicking holes in the ass, but he ain't done all of that <laughs> shit. But what nigga ain't kicked a hole in the ass with that kind of money? <laughs> <laughs> what nigga ain't slapped a hole? Bitch, give me back my shit. You running up out of her. We been in her fucking all night on these mollies and these exorcists and partying. And you decide you want to leave and run out. I was fucking this other bitch. And you leaving with the shit I bought. Bitch, get here. <laughs> yeah. but that was all right during that time. Yeah. You see, didn't nobody say nothing. Now y'all go fast forward later on in life and say I'm wrong for when we did this back in these days. Yeah, it's just like when black people uh seen Jerry Jones in a picture. Mm -hmm. uh, but that racist, that racist picture. Yeah, and they got mad at Jerry Jones for being that picture. How you gonna be mad at a nigga for doing what they did back in his time? I agree with that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, it's just like you mad at your daddy for when he used to kick your mama ass, so your granddad used to jump on your grandmama. That's what they <laughs> did back in them days. Fuck you, mad about it? Fuck. I ain't really had no problem with with that, with those allegations of him with with the, with the sex scandal and the trafficking because at the end of the day, if they grown people, you got a choice. Yeah. But what we heard today, I think that's, yeah, that's some crazy stuff, man. Right. Like, right, and and, no, all, and, that's all, wrong. and yeah. all the Europe, man, they, we done heard everything up until now. We done already heard about him. Yep. He possibly had something to do with Tupac. He done blew up car. He done hit nigga across the head with this. <laughs> all up until now. Dangle now, somebody off the balcony. Of sudden, we got one white lawyer out of Houston, Texas, mm -hmm. says he got over a hundred clients that was involved in this up to a nine homie. Why now? Homie, yeah. man, they lying, my nigga. You think they gonna let him go? Homie, listen. Harvey Weinstein, Wine, whatever his name is, way bigger than Puffy. Yeah, facts. Yeah. Well, homie, he he just been brought up on some more shit. They don't even talk. They barely mention that. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't give you no details of Jeffrey Epstein. Nah, wow, that's a fact though. They don't give you no, they don't give you no details, no nothing, no homie. Why why are they giving us so much details about this nigga? But they already they already marinated us to turn against him two years prior with just leaking information about him. Right. Mm -hmm. Just leaking stuff about him. So they already prepared to turn us against him. So his own people go say, man, fuck him. No, stop, stop, stop. Come on, black people, y'all think. They kill the image first. Come on, man. Assassinate the, the character, character of the, of the nigga. Person. That's always been the motherfucking thing. Mm -hmm. Man, come on, man. Y'all hold up. So they did it with Bill. Homie, they, man, y'all hold up. Shit, now. Now, the nigga was a freak. <laughs> <laughs> but, man, it ain't against no motherfucking law to freak. Yeah. Nah, it, ain't, it, ain't. it ain't nobody saying he forced me to do this. Yep. Nobody. Cassie never went to the police. Nope. Nobody has ever went to the police on this nigga. He ain't How they gonna do though. this? Oh, that chick. Man, the nigga bucked. Y'all remember he was standing at the Grammys two, three years ago. Flying the motherfucker with them glasses on, saying what y'all ain't gonna do it like this. He was shaking his hand at all them white folk executives, yeah. telling them what they go, how they go better treat us at the Grammys, and we go boycott. Man, them white folk crossed their legs, said nigga. And then he went to buck in the Ciroc company. D Diego though. Yeah. Come on, my nigga. Y'all yeah. hold up, man. And now the Ciroc, 
them different kind of white people. Nigga, them ain't English. Them ain't Europe, motherfucking American white people. Them rich. Yeah. yeah. Real, real motherfucking slave descendant owner. <laughs> yeah. Nigga, these ain't the English crazy white boy that done grew fond of the nigga. Yeah. This the Brit. Across the water, nigga, white folk, man, now, man. So y'all, hold up. And they been fucking and partying with him. Homie, this nigga was sending Cassie across the world. <clears throat> yeah. Homie, this nigga got party and pictures with the, the, the royal family. Acts. So come on, my nigga. They, man, this nigga a foul guy. Yeah, yeah definitely turn because you got some celebrities that don't did business with them. They didn't want to act like they ain't never been to a Diddy Homie, party. Homie, ain't nobody came out and shamed yeah. that nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, nigga. Yeah. In baby all stocks done went up. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all think I'm bullshit. <laughs> no, man, look at it. No, yeah, go yeah. look at the stock market. Baby all stocks done went in his music plays list done went up. Damn. Many white folks know what they're doing. What you think about the, what they're trying to do to Chris Brown? You seen what they're doing <laughs> by him? Yeah, Bringing yeah. out the documentaries, trying to say he been hitting on women for years or whatever? He have. Yeah, yeah, he grew up and he had. He been kicking bitches in the ass too. Man, all them niggas come from them uh, abusive households. Puffy daddy used to whoop his mama. Man, I keep telling y'all, children mimic what they see and repeat what they hear. Uh, man, I know, I know, some, man, I know some niggas. Man, man I, I, I got some partner whoop they hoe. And and nigga, they and, and, and they mamas tell their girlfriend, girl, we don't call the police. We just we Damn. hit them niggas the ass back. And they learn to fight back. Mm -hmm. uh, I know some whole hit nigga across the head. Yep. And if he don't black her motherfucking eye, she ain't going to stop hitting him across the head. She going to scratch his face up. Right. She going to set his car on fire. And he better punch in the his eye claws. so they can fuck later fuck on his that homies. night. <laughs> and they fuck good. They squirt and they calm on each other after they done scratched each other up and all that. And you better stay out their relationship. Yep. Right, you right. don't get involved in it. Yeah. If he go to jail for domestic violence, she going to make his bond. Facts. Yeah. Bitch, come get me. I'll be down there to get you, motherfucker. You should have done that to me. Bitch, I need you to go down there and talk to the DA. So, yeah, now, nah, my nigga. Uh, he ain't lying. Uh, Chris Brown grew up in an abusive household from, from what I got from the interview him and his mom done that one time on, on Wendy Williams. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, any of gang banging nigga. So most of them gang banging nigga beat up bitches. Yeah, yeah they do. <laughs> I, I, I'm just funny, yeah, but yeah. when I think about it. Yeah, man, yeah. most of them gang banging nigga kick holes in that. Gangster. Yeah, yeah, man, they beat up women. Yeah, and yeah. I don't want to call all women hoes, but I'm just talking to talk. We good. You know, yeah. I grew up on, you know, my granddad had a barber shop. Yeah. So I grew up listening to the players and the Max and, the, and you know, the no good niggas talking to talk. So, yeah, I just try to fit in with the culture. I feel you. How you, um, I got to ask you this, man. I know it's been a couple weeks, man. What you, what you feel about that Shannon Shaw up live, man? Because, because, because they, you know, was, they, they, yeah. they kind of threw that one under the rug. Yeah, I think a everybody bit. playing. I think that was staged. Uh, I said that shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ain't no nigga accidentally <laughs> as, as, as savvy as he is. Or ain't no nigga accidentally hitting no live while he fucking. Yeah. All the things a nigga doing <laughs> when that rock get hard. Yeah. Nigga ain't grabbing the phone with the live button <laughs> <laughs> on Instagram. Right, right. Yeah. yeah, and ain't no, and then ain't nobody can't nobody call your phone with the phone <laughs> ringing until you come. You ain't yeah. answering phone. Yeah. Like yeah. Say, man, you going live. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know what, nigga, you going live. Man, nigga, I'm going to look at that motherfucker. <laughs> when I get too fucking, I'm going to say, what's up, nigga? Say, like, man, you going there. Yeah, that right, though. Yeah, man, that shit was here's, here's the I'm gonna listen, I'm gonna listen. Yeah. this, homie, this. This is what I, homie, man, if it's on camera right. and we can see it, homie, it ain't organic. Mm. It ain't no man. If you ain't watching a a crime tape right. of a nigga walking into the store robbing and shoots, a, homie, if you ain't watching that, homie, nothing is organic. No more. So yeah. so nothing. Homie, my, everything yeah. is every man. If we can see it and it's on camera, somebody. Yeah. I gotta ask you this. Do Bats. you think he did that? Um, to justify his sexuality? Well, maybe not to justify, but to but to kill the rumors, you know. Yeah. A uh, nigga do travel, you know. He, he do travel with a with an assistant. Yeah. Yeah. The, the dressing. 
Yeah, well, he fired him, let him go. Or well, yeah. what nigga do that in the fair play? What? <laughs> well, the whole bunch that of is true, though. <laughs> what? I bought my own club. What, yeah. what, what, what straight nigga? I don't need nobody to say uh, dress me. The team do anything for him. I agree. And we ain't working at a at a at a uh, corporate office. My personal assistant that dressed me go be a flim flam. Hmm. What straight nigga do that? And then you and all your partner says, hey, man, you think they do that shit? do? Yeah. What made you do that? Why you ain't get a woman, nigga? And it start yeah. bothering them. Yeah. And y'all travel together. Yeah. And y'all being seen fly together taking pictures. Uh. Yeah. Man, yeah, man, <laughs> where there's smoke, there's fire. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick, man. Oh, yeah, and I'm just saying that because I'm mad the nigga won't invite me on his show. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I done got mad and started hating on the nigga because he won't invite me on this show. That's all. That's the only reason I'm making the e-comment. He, yeah. he, might, he might come back. He might come back. Yeah, yeah this might get me on there. Yeah. Oh, I heard that nigga like to fight you, say something about him being gay. <laughs> I heard that nigga be ready to jump on your ass. Yeah. Be a bigger old nigga, too. <laughs> I got you. Um, you I, like, I like some of the things you said about relationships, man. Real quick, why you think the black relationship do not last anymore. Uh, cause the black woman think the black man's 